my grandmother, as well as possibly yours, experienced the hardships of life during the World Wars and that time of the Great Depression. During that period, economic conditions were challenging, with limited financial resources and occasional rationing of food. They could not afford to discard slightly stale groceries or abandon a recipe that did not yield the desired results. Here are 17 secrets employed by my frugal grandmother to effectively manage and save money daily. Eat less meat by having bread and salad for dinner. At Grandma's house, food is usually served in a standard way, a crisp green lettuce salad, a meat and vegetable dish, and a big toasted piece of bread. When my grandma cooked for her family, she learned how important it is not to eat too much meat since second and third plates can quickly add up. To reduce the consumption of meat, she serves bread with the meal. This ensured everyone was satisfied full and within her budget. Bread is more filling, has fewer calories, and costs less. Dilute liquid soap with water. You can extend the life of your liquid hand soap or dish detergent by diluting it with water, and it will still produce a substantial amount of bubbles and clean effectively. This technique is especially useful when the soap dispenser is nearly empty, as adding water makes it easier to use the remaining soap. Start using bar soap. Switch to bar soap to save money instead of purchasing pricey face and hand soaps. You will also be lowering your plastic waste and choosing a better solution. Cook meals at home. My grandma is the family chef, and she always goes an extra mile when we get together by preparing a huge quantity of popcorn before we go out to the drive-in movie theater so we don't have to buy them out. I learned from her the old-fashioned way to prepare popcorn. Use only tried-and-true recipes. My grandmother is not one to stray far from a tried-and-true recipe. This strategy not only saves money on ingredients that would otherwise be spent on a recipe failure or a dish that no one would like, but it also saves time. She knows her recipes so well that she could definitely prepare chicken creole while asleep. Add some breadcrumbs while preparing meatballs and hamburgers. Toasting and chopping up leftover pieces of bread yields breadcrumbs. The volume of the meatballs and burgers may be increased by adding these crumbs while using less meat. The crumbs also serve as a binding ingredient for the meat mixture. Utilize each and every ingredient. If you have any leftover egg whites, my granny has a trick for you. She uses egg whites in meringues flavored with berries and makes excellent use of any extra egg yolks in omelets. When I make an omelet, I prefer to include some whole eggs, although my brother has eaten one made entirely of yolks. She lived to tell the tale. Put every cent to good use. I learned from my grandma never to spend money irresponsibly, regardless of the amount. She taught me the value of practicing financial responsibility, even in the smallest amounts. For instance, I remember visiting Little when the cashier suggested a paper bag for five cents. My grandmother said, Don't be wasteful with your money. She then went to the front of the shop and got a box lid and put her things in an orderly. Be sure to preserve everything. Think about all the throwaway products we use on a daily basis, including plastic containers, cutlery, aluminum foil, baggies, supermarket bags, and even paper towels. My grandmother's refrigerator has a variety of containers, including margarine, yogurt, and cottage cheese. However, you would probably come across some form of leftover food in the containers rather than brand new goods. Plastic utensils are cleaned and reused often, whereas aluminum foil is gently cleaned with a dishcloth and neatly refolded for later use. Any paper towels used to wipe off counters or hands should be dried over a chair's back before being reused. If your napkin wasn't stained at breakfast, you might anticipate seeing it on the lunch table. My grandmother conserves resources and money by sticking to these routines. Stick with store brand. You can easily save money at the grocery store by choosing the store brand or generic version of an item instead of the more expensive name brand. Incorporating store brand frozen vegetables or tomato sauce into recipes and spicing them up will have the same effect as using brand name ingredients. It's possible that you won't even taste the difference when you cook the same dishes for less money. Fill your pantry. When you go to my grandma's home, you won't be shocked to see a pantry full of food, including dozens of cans of corn, multiple bags of potato chips, jars of salsa, and even enormous tubs of coffee. My granny considers it a strategic move, but others may call it hoarding. She has a good idea of what her family enjoys eating, so she stocks up on it whenever it goes on sale. She doesn't see any use in paying full price for things that may sit in her cupboard for another couple of years before they go bad. She freezes meat and milk to make her shopping dollars go further. Avoid cooking with olive oil. Grandma chooses to cook using less expensive oils like coconut oil rather than the current trend of using a lot of extra virgin olive oil. 
She reserves olive oil for uses like spreading it over toast, meat, or salad so she may completely appreciate its taste. Expiration Dates Some people may find my grandma's unusual attitude to expiry dates strange. She sometimes disregards them and even uses ketchup or other condiments that are officially expired. Although we've never seen any side effects, I should point you that this practice does carry some risks. Therefore, it's usually advisable to play things safe and adhere to the expiry dates if you don't want to take a risk. Save money by cleaning with newspaper. You may save some money when you clean windows or glasses with old newspapers instead of paper towels. Reuse old clothes. Instead of throwing away old clothes and linens, turn them into rags. Cut the bigger pieces into little squares, then wipe with socks by slipping your fingers inside. The bigger sheets may be used as drop cloths for painting or for other child crafts like tents, forts, or togas. Old towels may also be used to cushion a dog's bed as a temporary picnic blanket or to cover vehicle seats from spills while traveling. Traveling on a budget. One of the best tips for saving money is to travel on a tight budget. Traveling during the off season might save you money without sacrificing the fun you'll have at your destination. Enjoy the little things in life. It's quite cheap. My grandmother finds great comfort in a few inexpensive daily routines. A cup of coffee is her morning ritual, which she saves for the balcony. She enjoys her morning coffee out on the balcony. Occasionally, she'll spend the day in the library or at the farm market, picking up some fresh fruit. Later on, she enjoys kicking back with a glass of wine while watching TV. Taking time to appreciate your house and enjoying little things is not expensive. If you like this video, be sure to give us a like and subscribe for more content like this.